Laura, my final question for you is, in terms of staying positive while searching for a job, we know that searching for a job is a full-time job. Sometimes it's not consuming, a lot of networking, a lot of t things that you need to do. But if you get rejected, rejected after a while, you become like, is there something wrong with me? Why am I not getting it? So how, what tips do you give to your students to stay positive? Yeah, it's really hard. I mean, that's a great question. It's really hard to stay positive, right? So um, I, I don't know. There's a, it, again, just depends. I, I personally, one idea I kind of throw out is sometimes maybe curating your social media feeds a little bit, mm -hmm. um, you know, rather than endlessly scrolling, sometimes having some people that you're following that are going to be inspiring to you or a reminder. Yeah. So, you know, so speaking for myself, like, you know, I'm a career educator, but I really like learning from other career practitioners on LinkedIn, because uh -huh. it keeps me refreshed in my own work, right, and gets me excited. So, you know, someone like Sarah Johnson, who's really big on LinkedIn, I really love the way that she writes about something personal, and then something related to the job search, or um, Adrian Tom, who's a resume writer in Calgary, for instance, um, you know, I really like like all her tips that she does resumes. And uh, it, it really is kind of inspiring in, in, in different yeah. ways. But, but then that's like, you know, someone like Liz and Molly's feed, uh, who do all those kind of cool infographics about career like you've probably seen them very popular yeah. on instagram and linkedin or even adam grant like on instagram i you know i i like reading his quotes and thinking about those things so yeah. you know i i would encourage people mm -hmm. job seekers to have some of these things that help you that's also reading stories like i actually like listening to podcasts to hear people's journeys to be like oh you failed here and here too and yeah. it's to normalize things for me because yeah. I liked what you said. It's like, it's hard not to start asking, is something wrong with me, right? We've all been there yeah. when you don't get hired or you just make it to the end. It, yeah. It's really tough, yeah. Yeah, I always tell clients or students I'm helping that have a schedule. Maybe Monday in the mornings, you're going to do networking. In the afternoon, you're going to do networking. Tuesday, maybe take the day off because your mind needs a rest. And then in the afternoon, maybe you read articles or read something that excites you. Wednesday morning, do something else. So have this schedule and then don't just show it, oh, I have to apply and don't spend in front of the computer eight or 10 hours because that's not the way these days the jobs are. You need to do a variety of things. Again, the content creation, the networking, and all other stuff that you need to do. But you need to have a schedule, again, that fits you and gives you grounded that even sometimes you need to maybe small uh, successes celebrate. If you get a phone call, if you did an interview, celebrate those small things because it will help your mind move forward. Yeah, that's great advice, you know, where, you know, essentially when we're saying those things, I think about more is like we're giving ourselves the illusion of control, right? Yeah. Like job search is so much out of control. So at least yeah. I can say, what can I do? Control. And whether that's scheduling, and I like, you know, breaking up activities, all these sort of things, because, you know, I'll, you know, sometimes you just have to do whatever it is to make yeah. sure you're staying positive, right? So um, I, I, I like that, you know, it's people like that scheduling idea. And I like that you're talking about balance, too, right? Because, yes. you know, if you're, you're right, if you're on the computer eight hours, um, it, you're just not going to be efficient. And you need to exercise, go out, especially Vancouver is a great city to go out, yeah. maybe bike, have a coffee, meet someone, do, yeah. do a variety of things so that, as you mentioned, you are kind of controlling your, your story or your job search. Yeah, and I think that also comes down to also like writing things out. I love what you said about those small wins. Like you're not, you don't have a job yet, right? Yeah. So it, it, it our brains were kind of very black and white. So it just feels like you're a failure, but mm -hmm. we can't see the steps that we're taking. Yeah. And hindsight's 2020, 20, right? Once you get the job, you'll be like, oh yeah, that was whatever, right? Yes. And yeah. so you have to really kind of write these things down to say, that, oh, I'm getting the interviews or yeah. I'm doing this, or I'm, I decided to do 15 minutes of this today because your brain otherwise is going to forget about all these little steps you're taking.
Those are great tips, Rob. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. Very practical and direct uh, tips to students, job seekers. So I hope that everyone listening will implement some of the tips you gave. And again, if you have any other tips and staying positive, leave them below. And tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And again, Rob, thank you very much. And let's keep in touch. Yeah, Bye. thanks for having me. Bye-bye. Thank you.